Welcome back. When you're at a restaurant and you want to pair your meal with a nice glass of wine, it doesn't hurt when there's an in-house expert that can help you with that decision. Tristan, one of those experts, and he's a sommelier. He's also the general manager of Bistro Bella Vita here in Grand Rapids. Joins us now to share some exciting news. Hi, Tristan. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Thanks uh, for having me. Absolutely. This is a big deal. Level three. First, let's start with uh, sommelier. Uh, many people might not know what that means. What does a sommelier do at a restaurant? Sure. Um, you know, in its essence, essentially, it's a, it's a wine steward. It's somebody who is immersed in all things wine. Um, you know, so in regards to wine knowledge, wine service, in any way that that would transfer to your glass table side. So, all those uh, aspects are very important. Perfect. You are the person to talk to if there's a question about wine, right? That's, that's the person you turn to. And there are different levels of this. And level three, which you recently achieved, there aren't that many of those in the region. I mean, you're kind of in rare air. Talk about that. Sure. Uh, it's been a very exciting process. It's something I joined in probably uh, 2016 is when I really began immersed with the Court of Master Sommeliers. Uh, as far as the examination, I took about two and a half, three years to prepare for level three. Um, it's a three-day examination. So the first day is a service practical. You're in a mock restaurant setting. Um, you're doing everything from red wine decanting service to cocktail service, sparkling wine service, answering questions on everything from sherry, dessert wines, beers, ciders. Uh, so that's day one. Uh, Day two is a, a tasting examination, so it's six wines in 25 minutes, three whites and three reds, all blinds. Um, you're going through and assessing the grape varietal, the region of origin, the country of origin, um, the vintage, and then any other characteristics to accurately describe the wine to the best of your ability. Tristan, let me stop you one second, one second. Did you just say that you are going to be tasting wi uh, wines blind, not knowing what they are, and then just with your palate trying to determine the country of origin? Yes, there's a there's a little bit of a process to it, but uh, it is uh, it's a it's definitely a fun and enjoyable thing that seems very intimidating, but once you see kind of the method behind the madness, the exercise to get there, uh, it is it is a really fun process to blind taste. Wine. Wow. So, what made you pursue this? I mean, uh, a love of wine, I'm assuming, but to become a sommelier, and and can you expand on how many levels there are? Is it level three out of four or three out of ten? Uh, how high up can you take this? Sure. Um, so there is one more examination after this. Um, it's the Master Sommelier. It's widely regarded as one of the most respected um, diplomas in the hospitality industry. Um, so just one more ahead, something I, uh, making some considerations for, uh, but taking some time kind of through the holidays to spend time with family and uh, family and focus on the restaurant, make sure that things are, are buttoned up here. But it is, uh, it's something that I decided to pursue after I graduated my undergrad. I was unsure of sort of the uh, conventional career aspects that I wanted to pursue. And I have really been uh, made welcome and given a lot of opportunities that I wouldn't find elsewhere with Essence Restaurant. Well, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you this. Uh, any wines we should be looking at, you know, for the holiday season? Uh, what's, what's good out there? What, give us some suggestions. Uh Champagne is definitely, uh, my wife and I are drinking a lot of champagne as of late. We really enjoy some grower champagne. Um, so I really enjoy the wines of Charton Taillé. Um, I'm also a Syrah fanatic. So Arno Roberts, uh, Pax Mall, um, the wines of Cote Roti and San Joseph would be great examples too, heading into the holidays if you want something that's going to be uh, well received on the table. Those would be my two that I'm definitely uh, certainly geeking out of over the last <laughs> And you're also the general manager of Bistro Bella Vita too, so uh, balancing all of this has got to be, uh, well, for lack of a, a better pun, a lot on your plate. So let's make sure, and in your glass maybe, I should say. Tristan, let's make sure yeah. that we send people down to Bistro Bella Vita and make sure that, hey, ask for Tristan next time you're trying to pair that wine. He's got some great holiday suggestions as, t uh, as well, which we'll put at fox17online.com. I'm a Ciroc fan too, Tristan, so that and a Spanish white. If you want to learn more, head to, the, about that recent award, you you can always head to Bistro Bella Vita's website uh, and see their menu as well at EssenceRestaurants.com. Thanks again, Tristan. Thank you very much. You bet. Congratulations.